week uh, had to work without Woody. How do you feel like your guys responded to the challenge? Well, I think uh, I think they responded in a positive way. Uh, very very good production. Had a good day, uh, and uh, re really proud of the way they played. And uh, you know, Seth rips off a pretty big one there. I know we've kind of been waiting for him to have a big moment like that. I mean, you. How pleased were you to see that, and how has he kind of responded confidence-wise since then? Well, it's, it, it was um, uh, very exciting to see him do that. He's done it in practice plenty of times, and we knew that he had the uh, capability to make that big play and, uh, you know, was hoping that he ripped through those two tacklers and went and scored a touchdown. And, uh, but uh, we'll take it, you know, as it was. But, but uh, he's very excited, and, you know, uh, having that success is going to lead to more success for him. I think he's going to be an outstanding player in the future. Where have you seen the biggest growth from him in the stretch of this season? Well, his his uh, maturity and his patience, and you know, and, and his uh, development. You know, he's still a freshman. You know, right out of high school. Uh, this time last year, he was playing high school football, and last week he was playing at Auburn in front of eighty five, ninety thousand people. So, but to go out there and to uh, capture the moment and to have that confidence, uh, you know, he's a special kid. You know, he comes from a good family. He's a hard worker. He's very conscientious. He's very intelligent. So he's got all the ingredients to become a great player. Jeffrey uh, Pittman had some big carries, and uh, he's really the difficult guy to bring down. I mean, you know, in, in those short yardage situations, how big of, of a weapon is he for you, especially when Woody's maybe not 100%? Well, it's, it's uh, again, uh, he got in early in the spring. You know, was here for spring ball. And uh, he learned the system, and then being a junior college transfer, you know, we, he is exactly what we were hoping for. Somebody to come in right away, to make an impact right away, not just at running back, but, you know, special teams. He's a very good special teams player. He catches the ball well out of the backfield. He's a good blocker. He's very intelligent, uh, very conscientious about learning what to do and knowing what to do. So there's still some more uh, growing up to do there. But uh, from the beginning and having an opportunity to play the other day uh, really was good for him. Notice too, Lou, starting to line up in the backfield some. How is that transition for him? And is he, do you have to work with him and practice on that? No, no, he's still, uh, he's still a wide receiver. Just, uh, you know, just some different things that we try to do with him to get him the football. Coach, you, you've been here through some great times, some challenging times. You know, when you know, I think about you know, a few years back when it seemed like the state was in a similar situation. And, you know, as a veteran coach, what do you tell these these players when times get tough like this to kind of keep them bought in? Well, it's uh, it's uh, playing Division One A college football in the 21st century is a very difficult and volatile profession. It is tough, and uh, you're dealing with uh, 18, 19, 20, 21 year old kids that uh, sometimes uh, you know all their lives they've had situations and that they've all come through overcoming adversity and it's a great lesson football teaches a lesson about adversity coming through hard times and storms and to uh, stay focused on the goal at hand and the work at hand and I, I think coach Arnett uh, as the leader has done a great job of keeping our team focused and not worrying about the things that happened in the past but focusing on the future and we have a big challenge coming this Saturday night under the lights uh, playing a crossover game against a traditional rivalry that we've been playing since the East been the West. So uh, I think our kids uh, realize what's at stake and uh, I think they'll be focused and excited to come play. Looking at Kentucky, uh, what kind of challenges are they going to pose to the guys in your room? Well, they're tough, man. They're, they're big, strong and tough, especially their D-line. They got uh, very good linebackers and uh, they're always a top five defense in the Southeastern Conference. You know, they're, they're, their uh, head coach is a defensive coach and preaches physical and toughness and physicality and those type of things and, and the, the, their players uh, buy into it and that's who they are and they, they're known for that and so uh, that's the type of challenge that we'll face is uh, tough, hard-nosed physical play uh, against a good opponent on your home field on a Saturday night.